It's quite sure this will be a video chart on ticker symbol FNCX. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame. I think does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And in this situation makes mapping out a very logical question quite, quite straightforward. And that question revolves around the fact that today was a good solid move. Sure, the price pulled back here a little bit, but even where it closed relative to where it was yesterday, good solid day. But that does lead into the question, but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength or is this just some sort of knee jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type move? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. And in my mind, answering that revolves around a single point and that's right down here at the 50 cent mark. Why is 50 cents so important? Well, hopefully we can all agree on the logic that price movements with genuine strength, with true power, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, a price movement with true power is not gonna go back to where it was. So with that in mind, think about 50 cents. Any sort of closes below it or worse yet, if the price separates to the downside, what is that doing to the price? That's putting the price right back inside of where it already was. Again, going back, not a sign of strength. Whereas let's say the price pulls back here, bounces around, and then heads up. What would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have this set of lows down there. If you picture each of these as stair steps, well, hey, now you have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction, and that's the name of the game, right? That's what truly strong moves do. They make progress forward, and I'm just defining and quantifying quote unquote progress as 50 cents. Now, what about areas of resistance? If this upward move is gonna uh, you know, fight forward, where are some of these battlegrounds at? So for this, scrunch up the chart here a little bit just to give plenty of context. So yeah, this level was actually broken pretty good today, but price just couldn't maintain above it. So I'm gonna call it 65 cents, definitely that key level. Again, the price did break above it, couldn't maintain, and then actually second time tried to get above it and it went right back to acting as resistance. But you can see quite a bit of history here with 65 cents acting as resistance. So that'll definitely be public enemy number one going into tomorrow. All in all though, no doubt about it, nice move today. Now it's just a matter of can the bulls build upon this momentum going forward? We shall see. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click that image right there and I will email you the guide. The guide is very short, it's to the point. And like I said, it is free. Thanks for watching, have a good one.